So I am almost three fourths of the way through this year of daily uploads. And, uh, and it got me thinking, am I going to burn out on this channel? And, um, and the short answer is no, but the long answer I think has like merits some discussion. So if you're a content creator, creative burnout is something that is, that's real. And I have experienced it myself on a bunch of different YouTube channels leading up to this one. And in my mind, I think that it really boils down to three different things that a creator goes through in their YouTube life cycle that ultimately leads to burnout. And I'm going to tell you what those are, and then I'm going to tell you how I combat them with this and why I don't think I'm going to burn out on this channel. Um, so the first one is you get burned out because you just get tired of making videos. The whole process is tiresome. You, you know, a lot of YouTube videos are, have a certain level of production value that viewers have come to expect. And because of that, we think we need to devote hours and hours and hours into making each and every video. And when you do that, after a long time, if you are a one person show like I am, yeah, you just get tired. I mean, it gets tiresome. The process probably gets faster, but going through it repeatedly over and over again takes up time. And, um, and if you don't get the payout you're looking for, it seems less than worth it to expend your time, to spend your time that way. Second reason people burn out is that they run out of things to say. Now, when you follow the advice of a lot of people to grow a YouTube channel and you niche down to something super, super specific, and it's something that you are passionate about, yes, you think that you could speak about it ad nauseum. And I had one of those hobbies that I did that I could talk about all the time. But after a while, you run out of things to say and you don't want to talk about it anymore because that one specific topic does not encompass who you are as an entire person. And so after making some nominal amount of videos, you just get tired of talking about the same thing over and over again and you want to talk about something new, but your audience doesn't want you to. And so that brings us to the third reason why people burn out and it's because they, there is this pressure, this performance pressure, this pressure to produce something that your audience will like, that they are asking for, that they expect at a certain level that you have been producing content at. And so the culmination of all of these three things, like add to a giant pressure pot of that's bound to explode at some point where you just want to be done with it. Um, and I have, I have quit a number of channels in the past for those exact reasons. Now, why do I think that that is not going to happen with this channel, it boils down to one fact and that's, I see you as my friend, someone that I want to hang out with and have conversations with and know on a, on a different level than just, you know, lecturing you about something. And, and when you think about each other as friends, it changes that burnout dynamic, right? Because you never, have you, ever, you don't really burn out from your friends. I mean, you might fall out with your friends for some kind of specific situation, but you don't burn out with your friends. Like good friends, I never run out of things to say with them. And we have conversations that go on significantly longer than I expect, or we just, enjoy each other's company. Um, 
with my good friends, it doesn't feel like a burden of production where I have to, uh, or I get tired of them, right? And it's okay if we need to take breaks because we like to hang out with different frequencies. And if you want to take a break from a friendship, then you totally can, right? You can space out how you see them. But in my mind, I think, yeah, a good friend is someone who will always be there for you when you're ready. And, and that's how I view, view this channel. I'll still make videos and I'll be here when you get back. Um, and, that, and that third point, like, you don't have to perform for your friends. I have been in, I won't say toxic relationships, but less than ideal friendships where it was based on some specific activity where how I performed in that activity kind of was a condition of how and why we were friends. And, but with you know, like your, with like your good friends, with your best friends, the people that know you on a personal level, you don't have to worry about that. And there's no like performance pressure, right? Like I used to do adult recreational sports and there were definitely people on those teams who gauged your friendship by how well you performed athletically in these sports. And there are other people that I was friends with on certain teams that were horrible athletes, but I love them nonetheless because we were friends and it didn't matter if they messed up or botched a play or didn't do this because you know what? The bottom line is we get to hang out and that's what was important with me, for me. And so because I view us as friends, yeah, I don't feel like I will burn out on this channel. I don't have that sense of dread of having to make videos. We're like, oh, I got to hang out with my friends. I get to, ha I get to hang out with you every single day. And, and that's what makes, that's what makes this endeavor awesome. So yeah, if you're struggling with burnout, think about, think about how your viewer relationship can be shifted just a little bit and, and maybe that will help you out. So thanks for hanging out with me today and we'll talk again tomorrow.